Hi, I'm Hal, your tour guide for the day. Now, we all have our heroes of one kind or another, be it John Glenn or uh, Pat Boone or something. But my favorite, and maybe yours, and well, let me introduce you to this fellow right over here. Yes, this is Harold Graham, the world's first rocket belt pilot. I salute you, Mr. Graham, my hero. Well, I'm not sure what that really means. It's, uh, who could be you? Well, it's Mr. Graham. Well, here we are at the Pentagon, and the date is June 15th, 1961, exactly one week after the first public demonstration of a rocket belt free flight. Who says the Pentagon can't move when, uh, when motivation moves them? Now, here we are in front of the Pentagon, and there's 3,000 people. They're half of the Pentagon population. And they're out there to see this wonderful new gadget that Bell developed. And there's, this was the first of two flights, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. They can't vacate the pen, whole Pentagon, for goodness sakes. Jeez. But anyway, there's our hero, uh, Mr. Graham, putting in his earplugs. And, and there's Ernie Krutinger on your left and Eddie Ganzak on the right. Now, Ernie in the front is our crew chief. He's the mechanic. He makes things work. And there's Eddie Ganzak. And there's Wendell Moore in the background. He just uh, he just missed him, the guy with the glasses there. And there's our star. And Ernie's patching him up. It takes probably five, ten minutes to get all his jerk stuff on. And there is our hero ready to go. And uh, you'll notice there's a, a, a short burst you just saw there. That warms up the catalyst bed and gets ready for the actual flight. And off he goes. He's, he's moving. He's up. And he didn't have much for breakfast today, so he's really flying. And there it is, uh, way down over that 1956 Chevy. But now we're back on the ground, and it takes another five minutes to get all that stuff off. And here, I have no idea what these... PR colonial guard guys are, but they're asking jerk questions like what's a throttle, and the guy on your right is asking me a question, and I can't hear it, I mean, because I've got plugs in my ear, and, and nowadays I put devices in my ears in order to hear, and here's the press corps, you know, and all the reporters, and all those jerk guys, jeez, you know, they're, they're asking, and there's a general, 